Triple murder suspect Bryce Rhodes walked back into a Jefferson County courtroom today with a judge ruling he is competent to stand trial. As WDRB's Darby Bean tells us, it was a hearing the defense tried to keep the public and the media out of, but it remained open. It's a case that's been pending since 2016. Bryce Rhodes is accused of killing three people, including two teenage boys. He's been in and out of the courtroom several times, known for his outbursts at previous hearings. This case was set to go to trial in January of 2022, but Rhodes' attorney asked for a competency evaluation. Now, Judge Julie Kalin ruled Friday that Rhodes is competent and set a trial date for December 11th, 2023. There has been no conclusive testimony that he is incompetent. The hearing lasted more than two hours and included arguments from both the Commonwealth and defense, as well as testimony from other witnesses. Rhodes attorney Tom Griffiths asked if he could testify about Rhodes' behavior himself, but Judge Kalin ultimately denied that request. Strange words coming out of my mouth, Judge. I'm the last witness for the defense, um, the court having ruled that I I'm not able to testify. Um, that's all the, the witnesses that we have. During final arguments, the Commonwealth asked the court to find Rhodes competent for trial. He made comments about the court process that, um, that shows that he does understand what's going on. He understands the challenges uh, to, that he faces because of having a high publicity case. But the defense argued otherwise. He has run off multiple attorneys, Judge. Um, it does not make him a competent person because I haven't quit him. He will not speak to me, as is in the record, and hasn't for years. Still, Judge Kalen ruled Rhodes can stand trial. I don't believe that any of the evidence through testimony today is conclusive that Mr. Rhodes isn't just making the uh, decision to not participate with his attorneys. I, I don't think that that necessarily makes him incompetent. Despite efforts from the defense to push the trial date a year out, Judge Kalin set the trial to begin this December. Rhodes spoke at the end of that hearing say he, saying he wanted new attorneys, but he did not want to represent himself. He also argued that his case should be dismissed because of police misconduct. But Judge Kalin said there is no evidence of police wrongdoing in the case. You know, we spent so many years talking about the court proceedings with Bryce Rhodes. Sometimes I think it, it can overshadow that there were kids who were heinously killed in this incident. Very young, what, 16 years old? 14 and 16 years old. All right, Darby Bean, thank you for your reporting.